the Clintons never uh, had the IRS attack us. They never had the NSA attack us. We never had the F. We but we did have the ATF though, but we didn't have the NSA or the IRS, the wiretapping, or any of these, uh, or any of this, uh, uh, the um, all the electronic stuff you have on here. You know, even Facebook, Twitter, they're all run by a bunch of communists now. You know, the whole social media is run by a social communists, and we're supposed to have we're supposed to be the freest nation in the world, but yet we don't even have our freedom anymore. It's like what. So we got to fight for it again, Wendy. That's what we have to do. We got to fight for it. We got to take it back. Because we, we need a, we need, we need to, we are the, we have a right to own it because it's a free enterprise for America. See, we have the right to own it, but yet the government doesn't want us to have freedom. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Well, you're right. We have some big challenges ahead of us, but that's okay. Yeah, we can do it, and it's going to take people like you to go out there and actually make it happen. Yeah, yeah, and that's what that's what I try to do. So hopefully, any of your listeners who are in my area, um, if you know anybody in Wichita County, Michigan, they'll go vote tomorrow. It's the primary; it's going to be a close election. And although we're up in the polls, we know that polls aren't always accurate, and we don't take it for granted. And the last uh, primary was decided; the last competitive primary was decided by two votes. Mm -hmm. No, hopefully people vote for me tomorrow. Well, go ahead and do close remarks. Go ahead and do it. You know, just uh, go go ahead and just uh, uh, you, some of your best topics, you can't campaign speeches. Go ahead and do that right now for us. Go ahead. Well, here's here, here, here's what I always like to end with. You know, I'm in the military life, and my my job for the last four years has been working with families of soldiers who've died. That means I have a responsibility to the army, and that means I go into the living room. And I listen to babies. Um, I listen to stories about when they were uh, babies, and, uh, and and stories about when they were little kids, and look at graduation pictures and fold a flag. And I sit across to mothers, and I cry with them. And um, and I have, and, and through that process over the last four years, I become desperately passionate for the cause of liberty mm -hmm. because of their sacrifice. And so I'm going to Lansing to not only stand up for what people believe in with a cheerful, strong voice, but because I know in my gut. But even when the, go, when the going gets tough, I'm going to stand strong because there are soldiers who have died for my right to do so, and I owe them. And so I would just encourage everyone to go out and vote, work for a candidate that you like, and help restore liberty because if for no other reason, we have future generations counting on us, and we have a debt to pay that it, we can't even ever really pay. We have a debt to try to pay to those who lay down their lives for the cause of liberty, and I will never And tell us where you can find you again one more time. Sure. Wendy Day. Um, I have two websites, electwendyday.com and forbetterday.com. Okay. Thank you so much for your time, Wendy. You're welcome. Have a great day. You too. Do, do take care. Bye-bye.